Hello everyone, I am Left, and welcome back to my channel today, and today's video is, sorry, not the Q&A that I promised, that's gonna be next after this, because I just had, like, an amazing idea yesterday, and I really wanted to rush this out and still do a good job on it, but this video today is going to be called Box Out, and you probably don't know what that means, but I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, box out this video is going to be about potential damage range and how the pros use it to zone out their enemies and win early game fights. So boxing out is a lacrosse term. I've played lacrosse for three or four years I think. Well, uh, why would I think? I, I should know what I did when I was a middle schooler, but I played a lot of lacrosse when I was a middle schooler and one term, key term in lacrosse was box out. And what boxing out means is, say, the ball is rolling on the ground and two players are fighting for it. Boxing out is using your body weight to position yourself around the ball so that the other player can't get to it. Um, and that is what we're going to go over today. In this video, um, the background, well, I mean, there's not much moving gameplay, but it's going to be from the finals of VIS Split 1 Cloud9 versus Hammer's Velocity. So, I really hope you guys all learn a lot from this video as I did and I hope you enjoy my analysis and I'll see you all later. All right, first of all, let's give a definition to potential damage range or PDR as I have come to call it over the last, I don't know, 3 hours. So, potential damage range to me means the it's like the extent of the distance that you can walk around or near an enemy hero without taking damage. So, say, potential damage range for Celeste ends with her level 8 heliogenesis circle. Actually, no, that's a terrible, that's a terrible example because she has solar storm, so Celeste's potential damage range is actually global. Say for somebody like Taka, his potential damage range at level 1 is very small because he only has Kai-10 and his basic attacks. But, once he hits level 6, his potential damage range about triples because he has the range of his ex retsu So, hopefully that lets you guys kind of get the gist of what I mean when I say PDR or potential damage range or talking about a different certain hero's potential damage range because we're going to be doing that a lot in this video. Hope that was a good explanation. <laughs> if it wasn't, feel free to dislike the video. Alright, so this game from or this game between Hammers and Cloud9 has just started, and we're gonna see Hammers rotating S3 down through the jungle. We've got Chicken123 on Lance, T Tigers on Samuel, and starting all over on Ringo. So starting is gonna peel off, but um, Chicken is going to land Impale onto Arden. So what, what what's what's gonna happen here? is um, Chicken is going to be pushing very far forward against... Who is that again? I can't barely read that, but I'm pretty sure it's Gabe Bizzle. But so Chicken is going to be pushing very f hardly forward against Gabe Bizzle's Arden, and in turn, I Love Joseph on Sky is backing off. Now you might be wondering, why the heck would I Love Joseph be backing off? He is Sky, he has an Arden with him, this is a 2v1 fight, T-Tigers is trying to take the mid, what is going on here? I love Joseph is an idiot, but he's not. Um, uh, Chicken123's PDR, potential damage range, is immense at level 1 compared to uh, any other hero because he has Impale. And Arden has a very tiny potential damage range at level 1 because he usually doesn't upgrade blood for blood first. Sky right now, she usually has a pretty long range to linear PDR with her forward barrage at level 1, but look what's in her way, she's hitting minions. She would have to be in a straight line against Lance, and she just isn't right now. So let's now take a look at some of the different potential damage ranges in this fight that I've highlighted here. On screen now is Chicken123's PDR as drawn by my awful finger drawing skills on my phone. As you can see, it is, comp it is very far in the front, very far in the back, although he's going to be wanting to target the front. I didn't do it to the side because there are no enemies to the side, but as you can see, Chicken123 is using his PDR as Lance compared to other heroes at level 1 to box out I Love Joseph and force him to use his forward barrage on the farm and back off, buying time for two tigers to take the mid. Now let's take a look at Gabe Vizzle's PDR at level 1 on Arden. 
as you can see, it's very small because he is one, out of range for, ga for a gauntlet onto Isle of Joseph, and two, he can only basic attack because he doesn't have blood for blood right now. His PDR would be a little bit longer, even if it wouldn't be very much damage, if he had if he was in range for a gauntlet on Isle of or yeah on Isle of Joseph. But um, this particular little blue circle that I drew with my fingers on my phone doesn't really matter to the fight. The one that matters is Sky's Isle of Joseph's, which we're gonna get to now. Sky's PDR is along with Lance's what decides what's gonna happen in this altercation between the teams. As you can see, I've drawn it out again with my fingers on my phone, and it goes linear to the bottom of the map, to the top of the map, and into the minions and stops there. Now, why would you ask that it stops at the minions? That would be because Sky's Ford Barrage can't go through minions. The fact that the minions are blocking her from hitting um, Chicken123 is the fact that lets Chicken123 move up this far to let she tigers get the mid in peace. So, long story short, uh, I Love Joseph's PDR is kind of, I don't know, stunted right now because the minions are in front of him, allowing T-Tigers to steal Cloud9's farm in the early game and get a little bit of a gold advantage going. Now let's see, look at what happens when the fight progresses. So, Chicken is going to back off of those camps and leash them back to where T-Tigers is going to try to zone them off with Malice and Verdict. This isn't really going to work and the camps are going to walk back to where they originally were. We're gonna see T-Tigers rotate back up to lane, to presumably to deal some damage to um, Old School, and he is going to do that effectively, hitting Old School with Malice and Verdict, Corrupted Genius, etc. So that leaves Chicken down there alone with Sky, and spoilers, he's actually gonna die here. Which you might say, well, that's kind of a bad thing. You usually don't wanna die early game. Chicken, he could escape, but he's actually going to um, keep I Love Joseph from recalling enough so that I Love Joseph is actually like, well, I guess I'll just kill him. Now, this is a debatable trade because I Love Joseph gets the first blood bonus, but as we're going to see here in a second, this allows T Tigers to sneakily take Cloud9's mid camp again, as I Love Joseph takes a weird rotation because the exploitation of potential damage range knocked off Cloud9's early rotation. I love Joseph, or no, 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 whoever that is, T-Tigers is going to narrowly escape, and he is just going to be able to clear his own jungle, and that is what is going to give Hammers a bit of a, if not a gold lead, a mental lead in this early game of the finals of VIS Split 1. Now let's just look at some general PDR stuff for um, different heroes. Now here on screen I've got Kestrel, this is just kind of an example to show you guys how PDR can change as you level up and as you level up certain skills and do certain things, etc. So you see here I've drawn out Kestrel's PDR in a certain direction with her Glimmer Shot, since her Glimmer Shot is longer range than her basic attack, and you see that it's just kind of out where the Glimmer Shot goes. But Kestrel hits level 6, and oh, now she has a global PDR, because you can't walk anywhere without fear of some chance of getting hit by a one-shot, one-kill. Now, she usually won't use it randomly, but it could happen. So Kestrel goes from having a mediocre, well, a pretty big PDR, to having a global PDR, so that's basically just kind of a little concept for you guys. Alright, let's review. So, in this video, we talked about something that I call potential damage range, which is the area that you can walk towards or away from, or the area around a hero in which they can do damage to enemy heroes. It varies between heroes, and we watched a clip from Cloud9 vs. Hammer's Velocity where Chicken123 uses his PDR to box out um, Cloud9's players and secure a early lead in jungle camps. So, I really hope you guys all found this video useful. Um, I hope you guys can put this, these tips, these strategies, these concepts to good use in your own ranked games. Use them to climb the ladder and stuff like that. So yeah, if you really enjoyed this video, leave a like down below and a comment if you really, really liked it. And if you didn't like this video, tell me why, because I want to improve. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you later.